How to set up a Spyclops Pro in VR or XVR with a PC. First, we need to download the Spyclops search tool. Go to metrohometheater.com. Click on Resources, then Downloads. Now click on S for Spyclops, and then click IP Search Tool. Once the file has finished downloading, close the browser and open the download location. Open the downloaded program and follow all the prompts to finish the installation. Once the installation is finished, the program will automatically open. Hit the refresh button to ensure that all of the devices that are on the network can be found. Once you have found the NVR or XVR, put a check mark next to it and put a check mark on DHCP. Type in the default password of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then click Modify. Hit the refresh button one more time and the NVR or XVR should have a new IP address. Close the program and open up your web browser. Type in the IP address of the NVR or XVR into the browser. Currently, Internet Explorer is required in order to view the NVR and make any changes. Or, you can use a tool that opens up Internet Explorer inside of another web browser. At the login screen, make sure username is set to admin, A-D-M-I-N, and type in the default password. When logging in for the first time, the system will ask you to modify the password from the default. Click Modify. Type in a new password with a minimum of eight characters, one capital letter, one lowercase letter, and one number. Fill out the security questions and answers, and export the key. This key will be used in the event that the password and security answers are forgotten. Once the new password is applied, a re-login button will show and begin to count down. Either wait for the countdown or click re-login. At the login screen, type in admin and the new password that you've created, then click login. If connecting to an NVR for the first time, you will need to download an ActiveX plugin. Do so by clicking the link in the middle of the screen. Run the installation and follow all the prompts. When finished, hit the refresh button. Log into the system one more time. And then go to configuration. From here, we will make sure the date and time are set correctly. You can change the time zone and manually set the date and time if you wish. Or you can synchronize with the computer or you can enable the NTP server. You can also set your daylight saving time, if that applies to your location. From here, we will go to the camera section. If you are using Spyclops Pro cameras with a Spyclops Pro PoE and VR, those cameras will show up automatically. If you are adding additional cameras to the system, either on a separate PoE switch or that are self-powered, click the Add button. It will search for all of the cameras on the network, even ones that are on different subnets. Select the camera that you would like to use and click Edit. Here, you can change the IP address of the camera. Type in the new IP address. Make sure the gateway is set correctly as well. Then type in the username and password for the camera and press OK. The camera will now change its IP address and reboot. After it has finished rebooting, press the search button. The new IP address should be listed for that camera. Put a check mark on the camera and click Add. Then, click on Camera on the left-hand side. The camera will now be added to the system. Note that if using a PoE in VR, the first eight channels are dedicated to the PoE ports. If adding a camera through a PoE switch, the first camera will be on channel 9. To change this, go to Manual Add and select the channel that you would like to replace. Change the Add Way to Manual. Type in the username and password for the camera, as well as its IP address. 
click the Enable button, and click Save. Now, that camera will be on the channel that you selected. Next, let's ensure the record schedule is set correctly. Go to Storage, then Record, and select the first channel that you would like to change. Make sure the record schedule is enabled. Each day has Normal, Motion, Alarm, Motion and Alarm, and Intelligent options. Select one of the days, and a pop-up will give you the ability to select the schedule for that day. The Copy To button on the right gives you the ability to copy that schedule to specific days or to the rest of the week. The More Settings options gives the system the ability to record before an event happens, 5 seconds to 30 seconds, and to continue recording after an event happens between 5 seconds and 10 minutes. You can select other channels, or if you would like to have the same schedule for all of the cameras on the system, you can select all, then make any modifications that you would like. Once you have set the schedule, click Save. From here, we will make sure that motion recording is set correctly. Go to System, then Normal Event. Select the channel that will have motion recording capabilities. Make sure there is a check mark on Enable, and hit Save. From here, we can go to another channel, and do the same thing. We can also change the sensitivity settings for the motion recording. One is at the lowest, and 10 is at the highest sensitivity. Now that we have the cameras attached, the schedule is set, and motion is operational, we now need to make sure that the hard drive is ready. Go to Storage, then Storage Device. Here you will see any hard drives that are attached to the system. And if you press the checkbox next to the hard drive, and then the Format button, it will allow you to format the hard drive. Be aware, formatting the hard drive will erase all the data that's on the hard drive. Press OK to continue. After the hard drive has formatted, the system will reboot. Once the system has rebooted, log back in, and now let's view the cameras. At the bottom of the screen, we can select the number of cameras that we would like to view. 1, 4, 9, or 16 for this NVR, or if you have the larger NVRs, 36 or 64. To view all the cameras at once, simply press the Play All button, or if you would like to view a specific camera, select the location where you would like to view the camera, then select the channel. For more information, you can visit us at metrohometheater.com.